What's up guys, JV2017 here, and this is your day one E3 recap of the Microsoft press conference. So, what you're watching on the screen now is some zombies on Call of the Dead. It's just what's going to be in the background for all of this E3 update stuff. I think I'll run out of zombies at some point, but I'll record some more very soon, so I won't run out of it. And the Sony press conference is about to start. It's about 7 o'clock where I am, but I'm trying to uh, re um, record this commentary. I tried to talk really fast and fit it into five minutes. That was impossible. I was like huffing and puffing at the end of it. I'm already talking faster than I normally do, and I'm going to have to do that to fit all of this amazing stuff from Microsoft press, pref, blah, press conference. And uh, it was a ton of stuff, but... Let me uh, just kind of give you the main theme of their press conference. It was 80% connect. 80% um, of the games that they talked about, I didn't really do the math. That's my guesstimation. Uh, it, they were connect compatible. So Microsoft is really pushing connect. And I might even get it because of the, some of the stuff that they're doing. So they kicked it off with Modern Warfare 3. And they did their submarine mission demo. It was very, very impressive. They went and placed a bomb on a submarine uh, near Manhattan in... Um, the what is that called Hudson River and uh, blew it up and then they went into the New York Stock Exchange through the streets of uh, New York City and it was very cool but the uh, graphics were awesome very cool not a big improvement but all of the text is the same from Modern Warfare 2 so it pretty much looks the same almost but better graphics um, some of the weapons I saw I want to say I saw an ump I, I'm not sure about that one and I think the gun the man was using doing the demo was an M4A1 or a, the SCAR variation. I'm not sure. I think the SCAR variation is a three-round burst. I could be wrong about that. But uh, I saw the AK-74U. I don't know if that was in COD 4. I'm not sure because um, I did not play that game a lot. But that you could definitely pick up that weapon in uh, the single player. This is all single player stuff. Keep this in mind. Uh, the P90, the G18, that's the little uh, machine pistol. That was one of my favorites. And the AA-12 variation. I don't know if it's actually the AA-12 or a different type of automatic shotgun, but it sounded pretty much the same, so I'm guessing that, that it's going to be the AA-12. So, also, there's something really cool, a new system called hybrid sights that let you put two sights on one gun. So uh, in, the guy was using that he was doing the demo, he was using a hybrid sights kind of attachment, you could say, with two sights. And he had the holographic sight, that was the permanent one. And then the secondary one was his ACOG, and he could push it on and off by just clicking a button. And so that's really awesome. Like if you have long-range engagements and you have to put on that ACOG, it's perfect. You can just do it with a click of a button, but if you're in close range and you need to switch off the ACOG, you can just click a button and switch it off. Very, very cool. Also, Pred missiles were in the single player, so maybe we'll see that in the multiplayer. Uh, if they, if we do, I want to see it nerfed. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> Sledgehammer game. So, next I saw Tomb Raider, which is going to be released fall 2012. Had amazing graphics. That's the first thing I noticed. Also, Laura Croft had amazing voice acting. It really sounded very British and how she should sound, not some butch like, ugh. I need to find the blah, 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 even though she's not Texan. I don't know why I gave it that accent, but I felt like I needed to. Uh, There's a lot of grunting. It was very interesting. Um, a lot of Laura Croft grunting, and it feels like they borrowed some Uncharted puzzle-like gameplay. Although, in the beginning, Uncharted borrowed from Laura Croft. Uh, keep that in mind. But um, they're doing some puzzles, which is really cool. I might actually get Laura Croft uh, Tomb Raider. It looks pretty fun, and uh, it's coming out a while away, though. Next, we have Mass Effect 3, which has dun -dun -dun -dun, Connect voice support. You can issue commands or uh, answer dialogue options through Connect, and you just read exactly what it says on the screen. It's amazing, and if you want to move Liara to cover, you say, Liara, move to cover, and it, wherever you're pointing, it, Liara will move, and that's if you have the Connect. Amazing technology. I might even buy a Connect just for Mass Effect 3 to do that. That's really awesome. I love bossing people around. Also, they had unique melee attacks, and I believe every single character has an Omni Blade. Don't don't uh, count me on that. They didn't even confirm that, but he um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jesse Houston, I think. No, no, Casey Hudson. He uh, he kind of uh, hinted at that every character would have this Omni Omni Tool Blade melee, and they have unique attacks. It's very cool. And um, next up, we had Ghost Recon Future Soldier. It has 
Connect voice and body support. Very cool. You can shoot around guns like that. It also had a really cool uh, new mode called Gunsmith, where you could customize your own guns with in crazy amounts of ways, and you can actually control it with your Connect uh, with your hands using Connect. It was very cool. You could pull apart the guns. You can click. Ra- you can say randomize, and it'll give you random gun. It was a really cool thing. And they also announced that all future Tom Clancy's will be Connect enabled. So that's very cool. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is a marathon for me, really, guys. Okay, Gears of War 3. Uh, Cliffy B and Ice-T went out and did a co-op demo. It was very cool. They had giant environments, and they fought a Leviathan, which is a huge, huge monster. I really like they're going with the big, big environments. And uh, there was also a silverback machine that you can get into. One of your partners, one of your co-op partners can get into it. And then you can also hide behind it and use it as cover. Very, very cool. They had another game called Rise, R-Y-S-E, that um, they've been hinting at for a while now. I don't know who's developing it, to be honest, but it has Connect body support. It's kind of like Gladiator, Russell Crowe, if you know that movie. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't, but kick-ass movie. And also in the game, you can use your arm as a shield uh, using Connect, and then hack at people with your other hand uh, with a sword. Very cool. Uh, next, we have uh, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. That's the first Halo. They're doing an HD remake, 343 Studios. I also have a big uh, announcement for them in a second, but uh, they're doing an HD remake of the campaign and the multiplayer. That'll be really cool. Probably won't buy it, but really cool idea. Uh, Forza Motorsport 4, really cool, really cool. Amazing graphics. That's the first thing I noticed, but it also has Connect Body, Voice, and Heartbeat. I don't know if I read that right on the screen, but I think it said Heartbeat Support. That'd be fucking amazing. Um, I don't know what to expect from that. Fable the Journey. I was kind of meh about this one. Um, I was like, blech. Because uh, uh, Fable 3 left a really bad taste in my mouth. But now you can cast spells with your hands using Connect. Uh, very cool. Peter, Peter Molyneux was all over the game. And he was like, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be revolutionary. Milo. So, yeah, that's what he was like. Um, next, this really big announcement. Halo 4. Oh, my God. New trilogy. Halo 4, 5, and 6. I don't know if they'll go with those... Uh, names, but oh my god, guys, really, really amazing, and they're all being developed by 343 Studios, uh, which is taking over from Bungie, if you did not know, um, the trailer had Master Chief, Master Chief is back, oh my god, uh, heading for a ship, or a planet, or some kind of gate, um, very weird, it'll be releasing holiday 2012, that's their release date that they have right now, next, there they have a new um, Xbox Live and Dashboard that they're implementing f- this fall. Uh, some of you may have realized the dashboard changed uh, last fall, but now they're doing a new one. It looks really spiffy. And now uh, it has Connect support via voice. I think it already has that, but it's enhanced. And YouTube is coming to Xbox. So watch my videos on YouTube on Xbox. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But seriously, yes, do that. Then it has Bing Search. So you can say Xbox, Bing Search, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, or Modern Warfare 3. Really cool. And now you can watch live TV on your Xbox. It's like, why the fuck do I need a TV now? Like, uh, I mean, cable. Like, I have an Xbox. And also, it had a bunch of UFC uh, stuff. So now I'm going to blaze through all these Kinect games. There's not really that much. Big announcement that Minecraft is coming exclusively to the Xbox 360 and the Kinect this fall. That's a big announcement. I'm not a big Minecraft guy. I know a lot of you out there probably are. So that's a big announcement. Uh, next, we have Connect Family Titles. There's a Disneyland theme park kind of game where you can walk through the theme park and do different uh, things. Alice in Wonderland and Sesame Street. Really cool kind of Connect Family sti- uh, Titles. Um, Star Wars Connect. You can drive vehicles, ride awesome animals. I'm not really that uh, informed with or familiar with the Star Wars universe. I'm sorry. There's epic lightsaber battles. You can use the Force with your hands. And uh, you can also dodge stuff by jumping and moving side to side like a bouse. So uh, next day is something called Connect Fun Labs, which is live today. If you have a Connect, you can use it. You can create an actual avatar, and it takes a picture of you and your clothes and everything and puts you in actual avatar. It's really cool. You can also um, scam images, and um, it's just really cool technology. You can look it up. I'm sorry I'm running out of time. There's so much stuff that came out. I've only got two more things, though. Connect Sports Series. Seri- blah, blah. Connect Sports Season 2, they announced that, has golf and football, and they had this really cheesy football skit going on with this black guy and this white guy. It was pretty funny. And then next, they have Dance Central 2, which makes me want to get a connect and dance. Now, what I'm leaving you with with these last uh, few seconds, will you see me dance? 
nobody knows. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, that was a Microsoft press conference. I got a few more videos for you for day one. There's so much good games, so much good uh, reveals, and all that fun stuff. Many good interviews. I have a bunch of interviews to share with you guys in future videos. So, talk to you later. Day one, peace.